Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. You have probably all heard by now of the rather immense discovery announced by NASA just a few weeks ago of some potentially habitable planets located in a system called a TRAPPIST-1. Now TRAPPIST-1 is a star system located 39 light years away from Earth and it was discovered by the TRAPPIST telescope in 2016. This is a Belgian operated telescope and is a part of the European Southern Observatory. Along with the discovery of TRAPPIST-1, two planets were seen there. Now since then, some further discoveries have been made, and this is with the Space Space Telescope Spitzer, as well as a few telescopes based here on Earth. And between them, they managed to discover that there are in fact seven Earth-sized planets around TRAPPIST. So, how does all this relate to Elite Dangerous? Well, the galaxy within Elite Dangerous is largely procedurally made, that means it's made up by algorithms, and it's made by a system owned by Frontier called the Stellar Forge. And we're going to have a look at this here. Now this is TRAPPIST-1, Planet-1, and what we saw in the previous clip was a planet from a system located right nearby where TRAPPIST has been discovered. So what has happened is that the Stellar Forge system has generated a star system 42 light years away from Earth, and it's populated it with seven worlds. Now here is the system in question. This is the procedurally generated system. It's a core cis sector. As you can see on the name tag there, this is Planet 2. Now as of the beta patch, beta 2 for patch 2.3, Frontier have updated this particular system to reflect the new discoveries and they've renamed it to TRAPPIST-1. So I've headed out there and took a bit of footage and we can now make a bit of before and after uh, comparisons between the original procedurally generated system and the one discovered by TRAPPIST. Currently it's completely unknown as to the makeup of these additional planets out there. We do know the size and we do know that there's a potential layer for atmosphere. Now three of these planets are located within the habitable zone or the Goldilocks zone which in the case of TRAPPIST is far closer than it is in the solar system. Most of the planets here are located around about 5 light seconds to 9 light seconds away from their star. The star TRAPPIST-1 of course is far smaller than Earth's own sun. It's about 12 masses smaller, not much larger than Jupiter in fact. So this basically means that the habitable zone out there in TRAPPIST-1 is far closer than it is here. So as you can see, the worlds we've looked at so far in the Corsis sector are all ice worlds. But here, Frontier have updated it somewhat and given the majority of them various types of atmosphere, including Planet 4 here, which is a perfect Earth-like. Whether this turns out to be a case in reality is still totally unknown, but the fact remains that this is a possibility. And if it did turn out to be the case, and that's a massive if, it would be an immense discovery, perhaps one of the largest discoveries ever made out there in space. With the possibility of an Earth-like like that, there would of course be a very strong possibility of life there. All of these discoveries, and probably many more, are still awaiting to be made. But with the launch of a new space-based telescope next year by NASA, the James Webb Telescope, it opens up the opportunity to learn huge amounts of more information about TRAPPIST-1 and the planets there. Now, unfortunately, nearly all these worlds in TRAPPIST-1, at least within Elite Dangerous, are not landable, because at the moment we can only land on airless worlds. Frontier have chosen to give most of these worlds in TRAPPIST-1 an atmosphere, so it's going to be a bit of time before we get the opportunity to fully experience what the worlds of TRAPPIST-1 are actually like in the game. But that doesn't stop us from getting up close and personal and having a nice little look at what these planets are all about right now within Elite Dangerous. So if you have access to Beta 2.3, you can head out to TRAPPIST-1 and check these worlds out for yourself. And if not, then well, it shouldn't be too long until the patch 2.3 finally makes it to the live servers. Here we are now on the outer edge of the original core cis sect of system. This is Planet 7, an ice world. It has quite some striking colours, you can see them as we come around and get a full on view of this particular world. And if we have a look at TRAPPIST-1 Planet 7, Frontier have made this one an ice world as well. This is located a little bit further away from the uh, central star than most of the other worlds out there, so perhaps that makes a little bit of sense. And finally, let's take a look at the system map. 
Now, planets are one and planets four are unfortunately missing. I don't know why that is. It seems to be a little bit of a glitch within the game and in the game world. You can't actually select those worlds either, but they are well there and present. You saw the Earth-like world yourself. And as a final note, we'll take a look at NASA's concept art of the system map for TRAPPIST-1. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.